in the past each period have like his cemetery because each king after life he need to have his people together how he's made that swim all it's like one wall and making like a tomb for all his his ministry his family his wife son all fake door yeah why did they make these for this because like example when uh, the person he died and the visitor when he coming to uh, visit uh, this person is coming from for this door and read what is writing here okay that is is like praying okay and after that he said to you what you give him like offering it's like bread uh, water, uh, beer, wine, like that, you know? Bongo, <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> and also have different big door. Inside the tomb, you will find example, like one tomb. Uh, but this door is fake. Why is fake inside? Because the spirit, when he come back, from the sky to his tomb, he coming with devil, and he don't like the devil. He stay inside the room with him. Okay, he read his name and he see his picture. Mm -hmm. I can enter inside the tomb, and the devil he not allowed to enter. For that the the fake door have two meaning. Look, this is inside the room, inside the tomb. This is a fake door here. These are original hieroglyphs from yeah, the first dynasty. All this is original hieroglyphic. From first dynasty. Uh, from uh, the king uh, Wanis, Wen Is, the king Wanis, who have this baron. You will visit now. But for you know each uh, one, we can find his name and his. Uh, and which time he he was with from this cartouche and here you can see the title of Sa'anisut Biti is the king of Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt Nehbit Wajit is the king of Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt too but is uh, this is like uh, you know uh, sugar can uh -huh. This is sugar cane for our Egypt, and you saw it too much in our Egypt, yeah. And this is B, and this B you saw you see in our Egypt too much because uh, where they have the gardens and that because give take like from the flowers uh, and give us the uh, the uh, what's <laughs> and this is like uh, was like who you see in in his. Uh, uh, the cobra mm -hmm. and this is like for protect him from the people who won't catch and that stuff okay we go to visit uh, this uh, pyramid from inside we have the hieroglyphic that, that pyramid of Unas okay. how many years ago was this? Uh, this is like 4,500. Uh, it's that is new than Giza because also one stuff I'm not believe too much in the age you're giving us about the culture, you know. You think it's older, older than because the old kingdom is very, very old, not like we say today that age 4,000, 5,000. No, yeah, it's older than. 10,000, 10,000, 11,000 uh, BC. I think so. And was this destroyed on purpose? I think so. It was uh, earthquake. An earthquake. And uh, another story is like you speak about like uh, uh, Roman people, Muslim, yeah. Christian, all that. We need to build 
of stuff I I'm take a some stone to build it and that you can see in all the culture and all the period this was normal in uh, the past you, you will do alone okay okay this is not allowed to okay let me make sure i got my ticket on me Okay, so right now, climbing down this small little chamber, which looks like it turns into a room. Most of the granite that you find here in this part of Egypt was taken from Luxor and Aswan, and Aswan is 500 miles away. So it's very, uh, it's very crazy that they were able to transport it here. And you can still today see the quarries in which they cut some of the stones from. Hello. And this same style of art that you see, and obviously the same language, the hieroglyphs, have uh, survived thousands of years. Uh, they, they, they continued to reproduce this style up until like, you know, the very late dynasties. And this year is, uh, I think he said fifth dynasty, which makes it about 4,500 years old. But then you see like the 25th dynasty, and they're still making the art that looks just the same as this. Most of these places were looted and uh, it's very hard for us to get the full picture because so much of the stuff has been stolen. But nonetheless, it's just equal, equally, maybe not equally, but it's, it's just as incredible to see the stonework and uh, without a doubt leaves you sort of in awe at how it was possible for ancient people to build this kind of stuff. I mean, we're now underground, and this rock is as big as I am. And they're placed on top of each other. And some of these stones weigh as much as a car, or more than a car. Ça c'est un 
This here is a giant stone. Here, I'll turn my light on so we can see a little bit better. A giant black stone. I don't know, I don't know what this is. Wow, it's really smooth. And that's the top. The top was slid over. And here the stone is different here and the, the casing of the stone is, is not limestone. I'm not sure what that is, some type of granite. Oh look, we can still see some of the original colors. The ancient Egyptians, without a doubt, were a reincarnation cult. So everything we see, everything we see here is, uh, you know, with the intention to uh, amplify knowledge of the afterlife. You don't see too many stylized designs, you know, like these squiggles here. You see it a little bit, but not very often, especially in this type of way. I've never seen it like this. I'm not sure if this is original, if this was carved later. Now, to get this down here, this is one giant carved stone here. It's not in pieces outside the top part. Pretty crazy that they managed to get this down here. Pretty crazy. Okay, let's head back up. Oh look, we can still see some of the some of the original blue here. Now, where we are right now, many people know of the Giza Plateau, the Great Pyramids of Egypt, but not many people in the world know that there is more than a hundred pyramids here in Egypt. And the one that we are going to go to in just a minute is actually considered to be the original pyramid. They call it Djoser, or the Step Pyramid. And uh, this is some of the earliest examples of pyramid work. Apparently there is actually an older pyramid that they just don't really tell the public about. That's about seven kilometers away from here. But the Djoser Pyramid, just outside, is in fact the oldest standing megalithic structure, uh, stone structure, the biggest and oldest still standing stone structure. So I'll show you when we get out here. And this is Djoser Pyramid? Djoser. Djoser. And what's his real name? Nisarhit. Nisarhit. And this is the sar sarcophagus you were talking about in this one? About what? The, the big tomb no, stone? No, no. It's your way to see more. No. Mister. It's interesting to see how the artwork didn't change much throughout the dynasties. 
like you still even in like the 25th dynasty you still have the same stars uh, for thousands of years they didn't change because ancient egyptian is like uh, before it's like uh, all the generation come after one after one no changing only yeah. who change is the translation for the people can understand faster right you know in granite, it's one of the hardest stones to carve. Yeah. And were these pillars that have fallen? This one was for mummification. It was close to uh, the pyramid. Well, what are these ridges for here? Uh, that uh, we, we think that was for the flag. It's like it was like uh, up like that. And can you lift that? Desert. Can you, you think you can lift this? Is it too heavy? Ah, uh, too heavy. Try, try to lift it. Oh, maybe, maybe a little. Two people could probably do that. Ah. But this, I don't know about this one, this one. I can't lift that one. No, this is too, too much people. <laughs> In some of these holes, you can actually see like the lines from like the, like, I, uh, like the drill. Like you, yes, I understand you. Like what when he was like yeah. working like that, but we don't know what is the material. It's like a drill or what was using. It's like because this is very hard stone, not easy for you doing like that. You know. Look at this. Looks like a little butt. Uh, that because it was, uh, it was down the ground. And oh, to keep it, that, to keep it from. Keep it from. Uh, yeah. Makes no sense. Like that. Wow. Yeah, they were genius. Yeah. Wings. The name of him. Okay. D an nip. Jet was nip. It's like uh, for uh, giving to Onas the power and the magic words for this man, oh, for this king, I'm sorry. And this was like, uh, this wall, uh, this tree, like was covered like that. Yeah, it would have had a roof. Uh, yes, and yeah. uh, over there, that before, it's like, have a, like, uh, choreographic and... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, beautiful like, art. It's a deer. I was painting. Wow, that's cool. It's still to today, a little bit of these colors. Look here, the magical of ancient Egyptian, he make like this is like joking with, and he bite. <laughs> yeah. You see? And the other is like, uh, <laughs> leave me. <laughs> this tombs is older than here. And you can see it's down the ground. Because also in ancient Egyptian, it's like uh, you can see one tomb and up another one. How Beca come? Because of the sand? It's the sand covering and when come, it's like no searching, like us search today, like Egyptology, like that stuff. Uh, so many of these mounds, these could, these are probably tombs, right? All this stuff that's just like sticking out. Yeah, yeah. But because Saqqara was the biggest is a, from, uh, from uh, Giza. So my doom, my doom is like far away from Dahshur, uh, in another city. All this was a huge cemetery.